Aloe vera is one of the most important herbs used as a treat to many illnesses in chicken. In this channel, we have made an effort to let you know how to add aloe vera into the water of our chickens. But did you know that the aloe vera can be used as a supplement in the chicken feed as a powder? Yes, in today's video, I am not going out to be discussing the usual adding of aloe vera leaves or the gel into water. I am going to uh, discuss the benefits of adding aloe vera powder in the chicken feeds. I am also going to tell you how to prepare this uh, aloe vera powder. And finally, I am going to give you the exact amount that you are going to add into the chicken feeds so that you can be able to see the benefits of this aloe vera powder in your chickens. Therefore, for if you have not subscribed to our channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also guys it takes a lot of time energy and also cash to make these videos therefore make sure that you hit that like button because that is very good for the youtube algorithm uh, fresh aloe vera leaves contain 98.5 percent water and the rest uh, percentage goes to the dry matter which is made up of 75% uh, biologically active ingredients that are very important for our chickens. Uh, when I looked at these percentages something came to mind that if we get all the water out by drying the aloe vera leaves uh, the dry leaves that will be left behind will, con will be containing only the important ingredients that are des desperately needed by our chickens. The major ingredients in the aloe vera powder include number one there is the vitamins the enzymes the amino acids and very important minerals any supplement containing such combination uh, cannot be ignored let us first discuss the benefits of the aloe vera powder to our chickens when added into the chicken feeds number one is that the aloe vera powder is very helpful to the GIT or the digestive system of chickens the aloe vera powder helps to boost the growth of intestinal microflora these are the good bacteria these good bacteria for example the lactobacillus are very helpful in digesting what the chickens have fed uh, this means that a lot of nutrients will be available for utilization by the chickens this will help to boost growth and performance growth of good bacteria also suppresses the emergence of or the growth of the bad bacteria that can cause diseases number two is that the aloe vera powder boosts the immunity of the chickens the aloe vera powder contains polysaccharides called asemanan this compound and others play a big role to help the chicken to produce cytokines and antibodies against the deadly against diseases for example the newcastle disease this makes aloe vera powder a good antivirus and the third benefit of the aloe vera powder is that it has anti-coxidio properties aloe vera powder has a protective effect against coccidiosis in a research project aloe vera powder given to chicken resulted in a reduced fecal oocyst of coccidia being shed uh, compared to infected birds who did not receive the aloe vera powder as a supplement in their feeds. This shows that the aloe vera powder is able to kill and eliminate the coccidiosis parasites. Number four is that aloe vera powder has antibacterial properties. The aloe vera powder contains compounds that act as immunomodulators. Uh, these immunomodulators assist in preventing and inhibiting or stopping the emergence of bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus, the E. coli, and others like Pseudomonas and Salmonera that cause very severe diseases in chicken. All these bacteria are very lethal or deadly. Therefore, adding aloe vera powder in chicken feed will help to kill them off, therefore preventing diseases in your flock. Number five is aloe vera powder has antiparasitic and anti-inflammatory properties. This means that aloe vera powder has the ability to eliminate some internal parasites in chicken. Aloe vera powder also has components that are anti 
antioxidants and these compounds are very good to eliminate any inflammation in the body of the chickens if the inflammation are treated then the chicken do not get stress and this helps to boost growth and production aloe vera powder is also very synergetic with vaccines this means that if you feed this aloe vera powder to your chickens and they have they had been vaccinated this a uh, vaccine and the aloe vera components they will come together in the body of the chicken and help in in making sure that the vaccine is able to function properly therefore increasing the preventive the preventive action of the vaccine against the diseases uh, the diseases that you have vaccinated your birds for and now that we have uh, discussed uh, the benefits of aloe vera powder let us know now how do we prepare this aloe vera powder number one we are going to find or, or cut the leaves of the aloe vera from the aloe vera plant then you are going to wash these leaves properly after washing them properly you are going to slice them into thin pieces the thinner the pieces the faster they are going to dry then you are going to dry them properly after go after drying them properly you are going to grind uh, these properly dried aloe vera sliced leaves into powder form and now it is in this powder form that you are going to add this aloe vera powder into the uh, feeds of your chickens the amount to supplement or to add into the feeds is 1.5 percent to 2.5 percent this means a uh, 1.5 kg to 2.5 kg of the aloe vera powder in a hundred kg of feeds now here are the frequently asked questions that I've been seeing about these growth promoters. The first one is, can we give this aloe vera powder to our chickens? Yeah, you can give them to your chicks and chicken and bigger, even bigger birds. And at what age are we supposed to start giving it to chickens? You're supposed to start giving it from week two going onwards. That is okay. And can you feed this to your local chickens? That is the curry chicken if you're from Kenya, the croira. Yeah, you can feed this to your chicken, chicken and you can just put it somewhere in which the feeds can be mixed and then give the feeds to your chicken just like that. The other thing is that how often should you give this to your chickens? I believe giving it from week two going forwards going onwards for broiler each and every day will be beneficial and if it is for the kienyeji now you can give it let's say like twice a week yeah that should be okay and you're supposed to mix the garlic powder with the feeds a new mixture each and every day so for example you're giving your chickens like 10 kgs so you're supposed to mix the 10 kg feeds plus the aloe vera inclusion level that you have discussed today able to, to mix those things two things that morning so that you can give that for that day don't make it like you're like you're mixing today and then you're giving it like one week after mix it each and every day that I believe that will prevent the feeds from going bad or any case of aflatoxin and such cases click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to select good eggs for hatching and how to store them properly before incubation.